You know, I think that any actor worth his salt, if he hears that Paul Thomas Anderson is interested in them being in his film, says, sure, and then they read the material. Um, so the first step was Paul saying he wanted me to play Dr. Rudy, and then I read the book, and then I read the script, and then uh, we made the movie. Well, initially, um, Rudy doesn't trust Doc. Uh, he's a little paranoid about him, and he... But then when he realizes he's just a dirty hippie who wants drugs, he's his kind of guy. Then they form that bond. I mean, that's a huge part of it, is to not be intimidated by the cameras, nor intimidated by P.T. Anderson. And to, the reality is he's not intimidating. He's, he's, that's the surprise when you meet him. He's just kind of like a filmmaker. What are we going to do? Are we going to pull this off? Let's try it. You know, and he's open and trying and likes to improvise a little, like to do the script, you know. And, uh, and so if you can get into that place where you're in a very relaxed state while shooting, then it allows you to take the modern world away I really felt like we were in another era. It, 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 even the attitudes of uh, the police coming up to it, it, it I think he de really does capture uh, 1971. I remember, you know, there's certain films that it's eras or years can almost be captured. And I think this, you know, he really captures the early 70s in his film. Oh, uh, totally lovely. He, he's, he's so talented. He probably doesn't even... You know, he, he said at one point, oh, I, you know, I, I just work with great directors, but he's a great actor. And I found him very, very focused, really, really, really good and interesting. Every take, he did something a little different. Every take was as interesting as the next.